Hey everyone, welcome to Military War Technologies. I'm David, a former Marine and air combat expert. Today we take a look at the world's best air defense systems. So sit back, relax, and let's explore some of the coolest air defense systems in the world. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because next week we'll be looking at some of these systems in more detail. Also, let me know in the comments which system is your favorite. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Number 8. Saipa is Turkey's national air defense missile system, developed by Aselsan, Roketsan, and Tubatak Sage to provide high altitude and long range air defense. It has a range of 6293 miles, a maximum altitude of 98,000 feet, and can reach speeds up to Mach 6. Each missile weighs approximately 2,000 pounds and is equipped with a 400 pound fragmentation explosive warhead. The system is powered by a solid fuel rocket motor and utilizes the Elta EL M280 MMR radar and Cyper C3I control system. Cyper is capable of defending against a wide range of threats such as aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, cruise missiles, anti ship missiles, and ballistic missiles. Its advanced features include active radar guidance, two-way data links, 360-degree coverage, smokeless propulsion, thrust vector control, dual pulse propulsion, and vertical launch capabilities. Currently in development with initial deliveries planned for 2023, Cyper significantly enhances Turkey's air defense capabilities against various threats, including ballistic missiles. Its integration with the Hisar air defense system and development through national resources underscores Turkey's significant technological advancement. Number 7. The HQ-9 is China's advanced long-range air defense missile system, derived from the Chinese words Hong Chi, meaning red flag. It is equipped with active radar-seeking capabilities and is adaptable for various missile types covering medium to long ranges. Key specifications include a semi-active radar-guided missile with a range of up to 125 miles, capable of reaching speeds of Mach 4.2. The HQ-9 missile system consists of a battery with four launchers and two control vehicles. Each missile is equipped with a 396-pound warhead and the HT-233 radar system. The HQ-9 is easily identifiable by its vector thrust control system and side-mounted thrusters, which distinguish it from other systems such as the Russian S-300V. Its purpose is to counter various aerial threats including cruise missiles, fighter jets, air-to-ground missiles, and tactical ballistic missiles. Operational since the 1990s, the HQ-9 is primarily used by the Chinese military. Its export variant, the FD-2000, has been marketed internationally, although deals like with Turkey have been cancelled. Despite ongoing upgrades, specific technical details may vary and are subject to change. In summary, the HQ-9 represents China's commitment to sophisticated air defense capabilities, underlining its strategic defense initiatives. Number 6. Barak-8, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, is an air defense system that can operate on both land and sea. It is named after the Hebrew word for lightning. It has a range of 43 to 93 miles and can engage targets from 33 feet up to 98,000 feet with a speed of Mark II. The missile weighs 500 pounds and carries a 130 pound fragmentation explosive warhead. It is powered by a solid rocket motor and utilizes the Elta ELM-2248 MF Star radar and Barak-8 C3I control system. It provides protection against aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, crews and anti-ship missiles and ballistic threats, the system incorporates advanced technologies such as active radar guidance, two-way data link, 360-degree coverage, smokeless propulsion, thrust vector control, dual pulse propulsion, and vertical launch capabilities. First deployed in 2005, Barak Oit is used by Israel, India, Azerbaijan, Singapore, South Korea, and Chela demonstrating its ability to integrate with the F-35 jets and the Iron Dome system. It represents a pinnacle in modern air defense solutions. 
Number five. David's sling, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and Raytheon, enhances Israel's air defense against aircraft, UAVs, missiles, and rockets. It has a range of 24.85 to 186.41 miles and has been operational since 2017. It features the Stunner missile, ELM-2080 radar, and Barak-8 control system, allowing engagement of multiple targets. David's sling is integral to Israel's multi-layered defense alongside Iron Dome and Arrow. It offers high-altitude defense and flexibility across land and sea platforms. Finland has recently expanded internationally with its latest acquisition. The development and acquisition of the system cost approximately $317 million. Despite concerns over its high cost and vulnerability to cyber attacks, David's sling is crucial for Israel's security and represents a significant investment in air defense. Number 4. The Asta-30 Sampar-T is a highly effective defense system developed by France and Italy, capable of providing 360-degree protection against multiple threats on both land and sea. With a range of up to 75 miles, the system can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, launching eight missiles in just 10 seconds. Its rapid response time and high maneuverability make it ideal for countering sudden threats. The system is compatible with various platforms, offering adaptability and flexibility in different locations. Currently used by France, Italy, Singapore and Serbia, efforts are underway to further improve the range and capabilities of the system through the development of new missile versions. The Aster-30 Sampt is considered a cornerstone of modern air defense technology, providing comprehensive protection and enhancing the security of critical assets and military units in complex warfare environments. Number 3. The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD system is a high altitude air defense technology with an operational range of over 124 miles. Its missiles have a weight of about 1984 kilograms and can reach speeds of Mach 10, allowing them to intercept threats at altitudes ranging from 24.8 to 124 miles. THAAD uses hit-to-kill technology, meaning it destroys its target by direct impact using kinetic energy instead of explosive warheads, making it a safer and environmentally friendly option. The advantages of THAAD include high-altitude protection, precise hit-to-kill technology, and speed and maneuverability. However, there are challenges with THAAD, including its high cost, limited range, and political controversies surrounding its deployment. Currently, the main users of THAAD are the United States and South Korea, and discussions are ongoing about its deployment in other regions. The U.S. military plans to improve THAAD in the future, including increasing its range and capabilities. Overall, THAAD provides effective protection against ballistic missile threats, but its complexities and challenges need to be considered. Number 2. The Patriot PAX-3 system is a vital military technology in air defense. It offers a range of up to 100 miles and can engage targets at various altitudes. The system uses hit-to-kill technology, destroying targets through direct impact, increasing accuracy and reducing collateral damage. The missiles are highly maneuverable, allowing them to counter fast and unpredictable threats. The Patriot PAX-3 can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously providing a strong layer of defense against air attacks. Many countries, including the USA, Germany, and Israel, rely on this system for protection against ballistic missiles and aircraft. Although there is controversy regarding its cost and capabilities compared to newer systems, the future of the Patriot Pac-3 looks promising as the US military continues to improve it. In conclusion, the Patriot Pac-3 remains a crucial component of air defense strategies for the United States and its allies, providing versatility, speed, and advanced technology. Number 1. The S-400 is an advanced air defense system with a range of up to 400 kilometers, capable of engaging multiple threats simultaneously. It can track 300 targets and engage 72 targets at once, the system's missiles are designed for specific threats, which sets it apart from other systems. 
The 40N60 missile is capable of intercepting ballistic missiles, the 48N6DM can counter aircraft and cruise missiles, and the 9MEM-96E2 is effective against low-altitude targets. This system has been adopted by several countries, including Russia, Turkey, China, India, Belarus, and Azerbaijan due to its long-range capability, ballistic missile defense, and resistance to electronic countermeasures. However, Turkey's acquisition of the S-400, despite being a NATO member, has caused tensions with the United States and complicated its plans to purchase F-35 fighter jets. This has raised concerns globally, particularly between NATO and Russia, 